couldn't really have come at a worse time. Where do sick, injured, or orphaned wildlife go in northern Utah? Well, it was the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of northern Utah in Ogden. Yeah, but after 12 years now, the city has ordered that the center should vacate the building. KUTV's Emma Riley live in Ogden. Emma, what does this mean for the animals there? This decision has put the lives of Utah wildlife in danger. The Wildlife Center was forced to close their doors on May 15th ahead of their busiest season. They tell me they're scrambling to get the remaining animals rehabilitated and out the door. I feel like we just have to start completely all over, you know, a decade of growth just bulldozed. Since 2009, the rehab center has taken in all native wildlife and all species of native birds from sparrows to falcons and birds of prey like eagles and hawks. Their goal is to nurse them back to health and release them back into their natural habitat. Over the years, they've treated more than 34,000 wildlife patients. Rehabilitator Aaron Adams says the email from their city liaison telling them they were being forced to vacate was shocking. The email says that Dinosaur Park will be taking over the property. Couldn't really have come at a worse time and then, yeah, totally unexpected. So now we have until September 6th to kind of get our affairs in order and move out. Adam says in the summer they take in 30 to 40 babies a day, and those babies need months and months of care, time they do not have. The center has been helping animal rescuers like Tiffany Young for the last nine years. A lot of rescuers like me who are not state or federally licensed to deal with wildlife are getting a lot of calls and we simply we're not trained for uh, trauma with these animals we're not able to euthanize them if they're suffering and oftentimes we just have to tell the public we're sorry we can't help you you just have to watch it die the wildlife center is now hoping to get a six-month extension from the september deadline that's been the biggest headache for us is that we really don't have anything to plan off of. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know for sure if we'll only be here till September. We don't know if we'll be able to get another temporary facility in time. I reached out to the Ogden City Mayor to ask if the city was aware of the impacts this decision is having on the animals and why the city didn't give the rehab center a notice so they could secure funding to vacate. I did not receive a response, assuming because it is a holiday. The Wildlife Rehabilitation Center is willing to move to a forever home, but they need more time. They're asking the public to donate and reach out to the mayor's office in hopes that they'll get an extension. In Ogden, Emma Riley, KUTV, 2 News.